year, Clark Atlanta University is the host for the African American Institute for Males first annual developmental meeting here in Atlanta. I spoke with the organization's founder, Dr. Rankin, and found out exactly what he has in store for the young men this week. What is the African American Institute um, and what are some of the ideals behind it? Okay, good. The African American Institute for Males, or the AIM program, as yeah. we call it, mm -hmm. uh, the premise behind the AIM program is we believe that, like Benjamin E. May said, mm -hmm. Uh, the real tragedy isn't having goals to shoot for and not mm -hmm. meeting them. The real tragedy is having low aim to begin with. What made you feel that this program was necessary? What in the environment or what around you sparked the, the idea that, okay, this is necessary, we need this for people? Well, I, I tell you, the impetus for the creation of this program for me was years ago sitting in my living room in my home in New Orleans looking at the news okay. and seeing what was happening to our black men mm -hmm. uh, and being very concerned and thinking to myself, you know, what am I doing about this? We all know what the issues are. We talk about it all the time. But it occurred to me, what are you doing as an intervention? And the answer was nothing. That was the answer. And I thought as an educator, that was not acceptable. So I thought, let's target 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 year old black males. Okay. And let's try and instill in those black males uh, some of the kinds of things we do in the Institute. Now, was there a specific reason why you chose that age? Is that because they're going into adulthood at that point? Or is that you figured that there was a strong emphasis on those though that age group being affected by what was going on in the community at that time? Primarily, the, the major driver for me was, mm -hmm. I remember what I was, where I was at 12. Mm -hmm. 13, 14. Yeah. And I remember being at a crossroads trying to decide, you know, which direction am I going to go. So I thought the Institute could help the young men make a better decision and an informed decision about the fork in the road. So New Orleans was the premises from where the foundation was started, mm -hmm. where the organization was started. Um, and that was where the first actual AIM project began. That's right. And now, how did you go about selecting the students, or how did you go about selecting the young men that would be a part of it? What is the criteria, the background okay. for that? Well, uh, first of all, we wrote to churches, community mm -hmm. organizations, mm -hmm. uh, to ask uh, for participants, high schools, mm -hmm. middle schools. Uh, but the other thing, uh, in terms of what we did to try and find young men, uh, we did several email blasts, you know, um, the whole nine yards. Mm -hmm. And we require that the young men actually apply to the program. It's okay. an application process. Okay. Uh, you fill out an application. You have to get a recommendation from a pastor or a minister mm -hmm. or family friend. Uh, we ask for transcripts. Mm -hmm. You know, we really make the young man invest some time and effort into this endeavor because we want it to mean something for them when they come out on the other side as graduates of the institute. Now, the application process resembles much of that which would be actually a college application exactly project. Right. Was that's that the purpose. aim you were going for? That's exactly on purpose. So it's actually an effort to prepare them for the college right. program to actually get into this program. That's exactly right. So with that being said, what are some of the missions or what are some of the things you would like the young men to be able to take away from this experience? Mm -hmm. Or to say, you know, while I was at the AIM program, this is what I got mm -hmm. from it. And when I move forward, this is what I'll take. Mm -hmm. me. I want them to walk away from here with an analytical and critical mind and eye. I want them to walk away from here uh, being willing to examine themselves and why they think what they think, why they feel what they feel. I want them to walk away from here uh, so that when they see things in the media, when they read things in the paper, uh, they're able to look at those things through critical eyes. Um, I want them to walk away from here with a renewed sense of enthusiasm uh, about being black men mm -hmm. and uh, a renewed commitment to giving back to the community okay. from which they came and understanding that to whom much is given, much is required. So I want them to leave here with that sense of enthusiasm and commitment. And I want them to leave here wanting to come back to Clark Atlanta. Everyone anticipates great success from the AIM program as well as the young men involved. We look forward to seeing what the future has in store. I'm Naisha Deese. Thank you for tuning in.